And now, your local weather authority forecast. Arctic cold air still gripping the basin on this Tuesday morning. This is a live look at Odessa. Good visibility. We're still under night vision before sunrise. If you look closely enough, we do notice the milkiness in the skies, indicating mid to upper level clouds. These clouds not producing any rain, snow, ice, or anything like that. We're dealing with the cold air at the surface. Satellite and radar showing despite the clouds kind of drifting off to the south. We're dealing with the high pressure. This kind of clockwise flow indicating stable air higher up in the atmosphere despite some of these clouds. And as that clockwise flow moves off toward the east, we'll see southerly winds, southerly and westerly winds start to return. So one more day of cold air and we'll deal not only with the cold air but a bit of the breeze from time to time so we gotta watch out for still dangerously low wind chill values wind chill advisory in effect till 10 a.m central time 9 a.m mountain time this does include Hector midland counties as far south as terrell county as far west as the van horn region as far north and west in the carlsbad and hobbs region where Low temperatures, air temperatures will be in the single digits and teens, and real field temperatures will be between, from time to time, negative 5 to negative 10. Partly to mostly cloudy, very high altitude, thin clouds in Midland. 12 right now, thankfully winds have calmed down, so we're not feeling that much colder than the actual air temperatures. But places like Martha Alpine, sitting at 9 degrees, also sitting about 9 degrees in Hobbs. They're feeling like they're below zero this morning because I still have the lingering breeze out there. This time, colder air moving farther to the north and west compared to what we have been seeing compared to yesterday. And then eventually that cold air will retreat farther back toward the north and east. So despite the very cold start in Marfa and Alpine, they'll be warming up in the 50s. Potentially 50s and low 60s near the Rio Grande, but elsewhere 40s, 30s, and upper 20s. Middle of Odessa, the big spring, once again, may not even get above the freezing mark, so make sure you guys bundle up this morning. High single digits and low teens this morning. Very cold and a bit breezy. I think the winds will pick back up late this morning throughout the afternoon, warming up into the lower 20s by noon. Ample sunshine, so at least that will be the good story. The sun this time of year feeling stronger compared to the past month. So despite the cold air, at least the sunshine will make things warmer in the sun. Right around 30 by 4 p.m. High temperature right around 31 today in Midland and Odessa. One of the lowest temperatures on record in terms of the high temperatures. And we already smashed a daily record low temperature. Already at 12, I think we may get down to 10 degrees. Again, winds still coming in from the north and east. A little bit more from the west, still in the Van Horn region. And eventually those westerly winds will start to pick up just a little bit in the Marfa Plateau and the Van Horn region. But northeasterly winds, while lighter than yesterday, will be farther to the south and west. But eventually those southerly winds will return. And we'll see temperatures not as cold overnight in the teens. South southeasterly winds from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chances again for precipitation very low. Ample sunshine today, and that trend will continue tonight to tomorrow morning with just some high altitude thin clouds overnight into tomorrow morning. Not as cold tomorrow morning, so if you guys are dropping out those kids at school, temperatures higher than this morning, right around 19 by 8 a.m. High temperatures tomorrow. Higher, much higher than today. 31 today, 58 tomorrow. That is our average high. 61 dusty later Thursday. We cool off, but we're not going to be cold Friday and Saturday.